Hi everyone. Today we are going to see the calculation part of Newton's rings experiment. The aim of this experiment is to determine the wavelength of the sodium light using Newton's rings method. The apparatus required plano convex lens, sodium lamp, traveling microscope etc. In the formula to find the wavelength of the sodium vapor lamp is d square n plus p minus d square n divided by 4 p r. The unit is 10 power minus 9 meter or nanometer or 10 power minus 10 meter or angstrom unit. The explanation for the symbol and the relevant units are given. When the eyepiece of the travelling microscope is with two cross wires, one is vertical cross wire, another one is horizontal cross, cross wire. It will be just like a plus. When it is viewed through the eyepiece of the travelling microscope, we can see the Newton's rings. Then the vertical cross wire is made to coincide with the first Newton's rings, the innermost Newton's rings tangential position and the main scale reading and the vernier scale coincidence is taken and the side screw is rotated thereby the vertical cross wire will be moving and it is made to coincide with the second ring. Newton's ring and MSR and VSE is taken. Similarly, the same procedure is done for the 3, 4, 5 etc. for all the rings. Here we have found for 5 rings, 5 Newton's rings to the left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the main scale and vernier scale coincidence are taken and it is tabulated here. In a travelling microscope, some of the basic concepts are the value of one main scale division is 0 0.05 centimeter. That is 1 centimeter is divided into 20 divisions in this main scale of the travelling microscope and the total number of vernier scale division is 50. The least count of the travelling microscope used for this experiment is 0.001 centimeter. This is the formula to find the total reading. TR is the total reading MSR plus VSE into LC. Here for the first Newton's ring that is in the left hand side this is these are the micrometer reading left hand side msr vse is noted for the first ring that is for this ring left hand side the msr and vse is noted from the traveling microscope when the vertical cross wire is exactly coinciding or at the tangential position of the left hand side of the first newton's rings and for the second ring it is 2.75 and for the third ring it is noted as that simultaneously the vernier scale coincidence should be noted and for the right hand side the first Newton's rings MSR and VSC is taken similarly for five rings it is taken and noted in the table. So these are the right hand side first Newton's rings, MSR, VSE, MSR, VSE and so on. For 5 rings we have taken. Now total reading is taken as using the calculator. What is the formula for uh, total reading? MSR plus within bracket VSE into the LC of the travelling microscope. So 2.8. So here 2.8 plus VSE is 26 26 
into least count is 0 0 0 1 closing the bracket we get 2.826 so here it is written as 2.826 similarly in the right hand side also 2.928 it is taken as 2.928 using the same formula in the calculator for all the values the total reading is calculated and it is written now the diameter of the ring is for the first ring we need to take the left hand side reading and the right hand side reading so let us consider since the right hand side reading is 2.9 something and the left hand side reading is 2.8 something for the first ring we are going to subtract b minus a it is given as a difference b so if a is greater it can be taken as a minus b since from this reading b is greater so we are going for b minus a so 2.928 minus 2.826 we get 0 0.102 similar way for the second reading the difference between these two is taken and third fourth fifth it is written here so this is the diameter that is the difference between these two is taken and the diameter of the first ring and the diameter of the second ring and the diameter of the third ring the difference between these two is taken b minus a and fourth reading fifth one is also taken and it is we found this now d square is 0 0.102 the whole square we will get 0 0.0104 similar way for all the diameter values of the corresponding rings 1 2 3 4 5 rings it is squared and it is written here now in the formula in the numerator of the formula we have d square n plus p here i have taken let us assume this is the first reading, second ring reading, third ring reading, fourth ring reading and fifth ring, Newton's ring reading. From the third ring, I am subtracting that is 3 minus 1. So, what is it? Third ring reading minus the first ring reading, we have got 0 0.0814. Similarly, fourth Newton's ring reading minus that is the diameter square minus 2 fourth reading minus the second reading we have got 0 0.1212 similarly fifth minus third we have got 0 0.1562 so what is the difference here 3 minus 1 2 difference that is d square n plus p is d3 square minus d1 square this is taken as dn square and this is taken as dn plus p square for me it is dn is 1 and this is n plus p is 1 plus 2 that is i have subtracted the value of 3 minus 1 that is why it is given as d square 3 minus d square 1 so the p is the third reading here similarly n is the first reading here so what is the value of p is this is 3 minus 1 2 is the value of p so that is what it is given here in the formula as p as an integer number a number of the ring so here 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2 is 2 5 minus 3 is 2 that is why the value of p is taken as 2 here then the average of all the three values is taken mean value 0 0.0814 and 0 0.1212 plus 0 0.1562 divided by 3. The total value of all the numerator is 0.3588. The average can be taken as three values summed up divided by 3. We get 0 0.1196 since the unit is centimeter square here. We have taken it as 10 power minus 4 meter square also. Now, I am substituting that in the formula. The radius of the plano convex lens used is 2.5 meter. 
therefore in the formula d square n plus p minus d square n is so this is for d square 3 minus d square 1 this is d square 4 minus d square 2 this is d square 5 minus d square 3 so we have got the average of all these so we get 0.1196 centimeter square we are substituting that that is centimeter square is 10 power minus 2 meter the whole square so 10 power minus 2 the whole square is 10 power minus 4 and it is meter square divided by 4 p r 4 into p is 2 the difference we have taken it as 2 only and then the radius is 2.5 radius of curvature of plano convex lens is 2.5 upon calculating we get that is 0.1196 into 10 power minus 4 divided by within bracket 4 pr 4 into p is 2 and r is 2.5 closing the bracket is equal to I have got 5.98 into 10 power minus 7 so here I got 5.98 into 10 power minus 7 meter even we can write it as this point is taken towards this side as 598 this is minus 2 that is into 10 power 2 by 10 power 2 into 10 power 2 is 100 you will get it as 598 by 10 power 2 it is taken to the numerator you will get minus 9 here 10 power minus 9 meter so 598 nanometer usually we express lambda in angstrom unit so I am taking it as into 1000 or 10 power 3 divided by 1000 which is 1 so 5.98 into 1000 I get 5980 3 digits after the point and then by 1000 is 10 power 3 it is taken to the numerator so we get 10 power minus 3 here so we get 10 power minus 10 meter otherwise angstrom unit so this is the wavelength of the sodium vapor lamp at times the question can also be asked for find the radius of curvature of the given plano convex lens at the time the formula it is rearranged that is this r should be taken over this side and lambda should be taken to the denominator of rhs because the wavelength of sodium vapor lamp is 5893 angstrom unit so the same formula d square n plus p minus d square n divided by 4 p lambda if that was the case the lambda should be the value will be given standard value will be given the same d square difference value p is 2 4 should be written and lambda is 5893 into 10 power minus 10 meter is substituted so then we will get radius of curvature of the plano convex lens as 2.5 or 2.45 approximately i am saying meters the radius of curvature of the plano convex lens can also be determined using this formula here we have find the wavelength of the sodium vapor lamp using Newton's rings method that is 5980 angstrom unit.